So this is the world's largest naval base. Correct. And you are the first African-American woman to be made commanding officer of this base. What does it mean to be the first? It means that I'm not the last. I always takes the first and after that, it's game on. Game on is right. As commanding officer of Naval Station Norfolk, Captain Janet Days manages nearly every aspect of the base, home to the U.S. Atlantic Fleet, with over 56,000 military personnel, 63 ships and submarines, 18 squadrons, and an average of 1,150 ship movements per year. It almost feels like a small city. Think about it as being a mayor. Everything from managing the infrastructure, the supply, the utilities, all the support services, not to mention the operational component and the personnel that come to this space. So we have that go. So one of the people who inspired you to pursue a career in the military is your dad. Absolutely. As a little girl growing up, and your dad's an army man, I saw how people responded to him, and so my dad had a huge influence on me joining the military. Raised by a single father, when he was deployed to Vietnam, Captain Days and her siblings were temporarily placed in foster care until he returned. And you know, you realize, and even for me as a parent, the love that he had oh, for you without guys, it out. Oh, and the sacrifice it out. that it took. And being in the army was a means and a way for him to provide for us. All right, thank you. You served as the destroyer squadron and aboard USS Dwight D. Eisenhower, where you did two tours for Operation Enduring Freedom, including a deployment to Afghanistan. I served on board destroyers. That would have been unheard of uh, back in the early 90s because these ships, they go to combat. Today, 30 years later, women serve in multitude of capacities in the Navy. Captain Days gave me a tour of Norfolk's naval ships from the patrol boat. Put this in perspective for me. This is the world's largest naval base. Yeah. Never, ever is there not activity and action happening here 24-7. Ships come in, we repair ships, we supply ships and do upkeep, we do training. Our stretch and our reach is wide. How do you move forward and navigate in a world like this when you don't see anybody else blazing those trails? I had wonderful mentors. They just weren't women and said, you would be great at this. Do you even think about it when sometimes you're the only one who looks like you in a room? No, I'm so used to it. <laughs> yes, I see it, but it doesn't bother me because whatever my purpose is for being there, I'm going to do my job. Her impressive resume includes being the commanding officer of the USS McFall, a warship, and says there were challenges along the way. You've had moments where people would question and say, you know, who's in charge here? And you say, I am. I did have an instance where the pilot boarded the ship, went over to my executive officer and said, hey, Captain, are we, we ready to get underway? And I heard that and I said, we absolutely are. We're ready to get underway. Let's do it. He turned beet red. Don't believe it was intentional, but I think it's just the norm. Now, over a month into the new job, Captain Days is still getting used to the attention and says young African-American sailors often ask to shake her hand. They want to shake your hand and they say you're super proud of you. And it's taken a little bit for that to kind of sink in. And women, women of all hues, who come up and shake your hand and they hold your hand and they don't let your hand go. Mm -hmm. I want to make my family and make those proud. And also just let ladies know that you can do it. Oh, ladies, you, <laughs> you can, can do it. it. We are so pleased to have you here on the plaza. What an honor it is for us to be sitting with you. Chanel, what a great interview you have with her. <laughs> Will you just put your finger on the moment when mm. you knew that your life was about to change, you were about to be in charge and at the helm? No, it was absolutely amazing. I have a fantastic team at Naval Station Norfolk, and you don't just get there overnight. Yeah. You know, it's a path that you take as you go through various tours. You have advocates, um, people that are rooting for you, and, and the amazing team that works with you. It's absolutely a team sport. Um, but taking command of Naval Station Norfolk was probably the epitome of my career, aside from commanding a warship. I wanted and to ask you about that because, yeah. I mean, you truly have risen through the ranks in every sense of it. But commanding a warship, we were just talking, you are saying, in a lot of ways, that is the highlight, the mm. pinnacle. No, absolutely, absolutely. The Navy puts an enormous amount of um, just the responsibility on you, but trust that not only are you going to execute the mission, but you're going to bring those sailors home and you're going to take care of them. Mm. And that right there means absolutely everything to me and commanders that are afloat, commanders that are in squadrons, commanders that are on submarines. Um, the nation's um, children are a responsibility. Mm. And sure we can go out and accomplish that mission and take care of them. 
it is absolutely um, it's something I'll never forget. It's amazing. On that note, there are so many young girls, beautiful young girls, <laughs> and women here in our plaza, and women no doubt watching at home. What advice do you have for someone who may be in a in a field that's predominantly men, but they still want to break barriers and trailblaze? Absolutely. Um, first of all, always sit on the front row. Mm -hmm. Don't sit in the back row. Have your questions. Get comfortable being uncomfortable, mm -hmm. because oftentimes you're going to be uncomfortable. If that is your passion, stick with it. Have a voice. Be bold, and don't stop. Wow, you know, you're, I was curious about your leadership style. Some people lead from the front of the boat because they want everyone to see them. Sure. Some people stay in the back and sort of watch mm. what's going on. What's your what's your That's, style? It's all about people. Yeah. This is a people business. We are war fighters, absolutely. But we cannot do our mission if we do not understand and know and can grasp the complexities of what every individual brings to the table. The Navy is so exceptionally diverse. And so harnessing that and ensuring that we take that on board. Um, my leadership style is people business. Understanding my team, working through them, the yeah. tools that the Navy provides to me to be able to do that for them so that they can go away from home and be deployed for weeks and months on end. And, and their families can know that we've taken care of them mm. and that we're gonna bring them back safely. Oh. Captain Days, wherever right? you're leading, we're following. We're following. We are. All right, sign you up. Sign you up. Thank you so much. Absolutely. Thank Absolutely. you, Chanel. That was Great. Awesome. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.